Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and today I'd like to tell y'all about Opil, which is the first FDA approved birth control pill that's available without a prescription. It was actually approved by the FDA back in July of 2023, but it's not expected to be available on the shelves at like CVS and Walgreens until early 2024. I don't know the cost yet since it's not actually available to consumers, but I wanted to just tell y'all a little bit about what to expect. So as I mentioned, it's available without a prescription, but you may have to talk with the pharmacist and get it from behind the counter. This type of birth control has been around for about 50 years, and this type of birth control pill is different than what most women probably are taking. Most women take a combination pill with estrogen and progestin. This pill is just progestin only, and specifically the progestin that's in it is called Norgestrel. This type of pill has commonly been prescribed to women that are breastfeeding or who have terrible migraines or women who have had blood clots or are at high risk for blood clots because the progestin only pill is usually a safer alternative for them. And the progestin only pill has a really long safety track record and has been around for a long time and actually has fewer side effects than the combination estrogen progestin pill. Well, so why don't more women take the progestin only pill? Well, this pill is a lot less forgiving than the combination pills that I described. You have to take this pill every single day at the same time or else it's not gonna work well. If you even miss your dose by three hours, it's recommended that you use a backup form of birth control for two days. So it's really, really important that you take it at the same time every single day and, then, and that you don't miss a dose. There's also more breakthrough bleeding with a progestin only pill like Opil. That doesn't mean you should stop taking it. It's just an annoying side effect of this medication. One thing I wanna stress is that if you start taking the Opil, please, please let your doctor know so that he or she can add it to your medication list because there are some interactions that can occur with other medications that you're taking. Thanks for joining me.